Hey, what's going on guys? Maxkillit here with another CSGO video, and today I'm going to be doing a video on skins that do need to be added to CSGO, because I recently did the video on skins that we do not need any more of, so I thought I would do a video on types of weapon skins that we do need more of, because there are some skins I definitely think there like isn't enough options for. Alright, so starting off, I would definitely say we could use some more revolver skins. I mean, not too many, but it is a little bit ridiculous that there's only four skins on the R8 revolver. I mean, it was added to the game, then just completely forgot about Valve has not touched the R8 revolver since it was added, and I also think that I think they're going to eventually buff it again because currently it's completely unusable. Like I don't think I've really played any competitive games recently where anyone used the R8 revolver, so uh, it's really not that usable. And it used to be super OP when it was first added, but then they just completely nerfed it, probably a little bit too hard. So maybe they might buff it in the future. And um, otherwise, it doesn't look like they have any plans to add new skins for it. They haven't announced a R8 in the uh, competition for like the sci-fi case or whatever. And there was not an R8 skin in the last two cases, which is kind of interesting. I mean, there's only four options on the R8, so I would say they could use some more skins for that weapon just in general. So the second thing I think should be added is a covert Glock skin. And... Um, I'm not saying they should just add a bunch of more Glock skins, I really just think they need at least one covert Glock skin at this point, which they, may, they might have plans of doing that in the future, but I really liked what they did with the covert USPS, the USPS kill confirm, that was kind of a cool addition to the game, and the Glock is obviously such a common weapon in CSGO, and people will pay a lot for their starting pistol skin. And I've, there's some really nice skins in the workshop that I think people would like as a covert, like this skin right here, the Glock Jellyfish. I think this is a pretty cool skin, especially because it's got different patterns on it. I would definitely use this, and I know people really like the Glock Fade. That's probably the all-time favorite Glock skin. It's definitely the most expensive one in general, I guess. But the Glock Jellyfish is kind of a similar kind of design type to the Glock Fade, so I think people really would like a skin like that. I don't know if it has to be that exact skin. There's some other kind of interesting Glock skins, like the Glock Brimstone, and I'm sure there's some other ones, but either way, I think it's time we get a covert Glock skin. Hopefully Valve will select a nice one if they ever come by to add a covert Glock. So that's the second thing that I think needs to be added. Now on to the third edition. Now I already talked about this in my other video on skins that don't need to be added. But there's a lot more options for the M4A1S than the M4A4 when it comes to flashy, colorful skins. Like, a lot of people in the community do like these, like, flashy skins. I think a lot of them are pretty cool, and there's so many, so many options on the M4A1S. But there's basically, there's only a few on the M4A4, and the last couple of M4A4s have been pretty big disappointments. Like, the uh, Battlestar, I believe is what the last one was called. And that just did not look like it should be a covert skin at all. Not sure why that skin got added over a lot of other skins. Here's one M4A4 from the CSGO Workshop, the M4A4 Maple Hero. I've always thought this skin should be added. I just think um, another thing that I think they should be adding more in general is skins of different patterns, because skins of different patterns definitely add a lot more variety. Some patterns become rare, some kind of become more common. But either way, different patterns on a skin is something that we haven't really seen too much anymore. We used, we used to have the case around skins, but those were added such a long time ago. And there isn't too many skins that were added recently with uh, changing patterns by too much. So that's why I think skins like the M4A4 Maple Hero that has a whole bunch of different finishes, it's a randomly generated finish gun, and skins like the Glock Jellyfish should be added. And um, it doesn't have to be those exact two ones, but they've got kind of cool ideas. They're kind of basic, but they're just kind of cool flashy skins if they want to add like a covert M4A4 that isn't kind of a disappointment like the Battlestar. That skin should be a lot more expensive for how rare it is, but it's so cheap. It's only $20 for a factory new one, even though that's a covert rifle skin, hasn't even been in the game for that long. So I don't think too many people in the community like that skin. And then finally, I think we could definitely use some more SSG skins or scout skins when it comes to purple, pink, and red skins, because we only have one purple, one red, and one pink. And the AUG, the AUG has two coverts, two pinks, and one purple, so if the AUG has a lot more, like, rare, nice skins than the SSG, I think that's kind of a problem, because, I don't know, at least in all the games I play of CSGO, people use the SSG way more than the AUG, I basically never see the AUG, even though there's two covert skins on the AUG, but um, I definitely think there's a lot of people in the game that use the SSG, pretty fun weapon to use, but either way, there isn't too many, like, 
skin options that are bl um, over the blue rarity. Pretty, there's a lot of blue skins for it, but we could definitely use some like purple, pink, and red skins. So uh, I think some other people suggested that in my last video as well. I definitely saw at least one person talking about a lot of these ideas in my comments, but I think they all are kind of things that Valve should focus on when they're making the next case. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Feel free to let me know in the comments what you thought of this, but uh, I'm Exkillet, and I'm out.